Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. A trend that I've noticed uh, the last few years uh, when I meet uh, other realtors at, at an open house or at one of my showings, they'll hand me their business card. I'm noticing that a lot of realtors have their name and then underneath it, real estate consultant. And uh, I've also noticed that in marketing materials from other realtors now as well. Now, I guess when you think about it, uh, when you are hiring a realtor, you really are hiring a consultant. Um, that's really what you're, you're paying a realtor for. Um, a lot of people complain that, you know, realtors in Vancouver are, are fat cats. They uh, make a lot of money, drive fancy cars, and they're overpaid. And I guess maybe there are a few realtors like that, but all the successful ones I know uh, in Vancouver and Richmond um, are actually, in some ways, I think, undervalued. Um, because if you look at the commission rates, first off, getting on another tangent here, uh, in, in the lower mainland, first off, in British Columbia, real estate commissions aren't set. A realtor can charge whatever they want. But uh, I would say probably 90% uh, of realtors uh, charge pretty much the same. 7% on the first 100,000, 25 on the balance. Now, when you look at that as far as other cities in North America or even the world, our commissions are some of the lowest anywhere. Um, if you go down to California, um, they're going to charge 6% across the board on the entire purchase price. So uh, our commissions here are about half of what they're earning in, in uh, California and a lot of U.S. cities. But uh, back to the real estate consultant thing. When someone hires me, uh, as people know here, I'm, I'm more of a listing specialist, a marketing specialist. That's 80% of my work. People call me to list and sell their home. And uh, I'm going to market the home. I've got a marketing program in place. Uh, get the maximum exposure and get you the maximum dollar for it. That's my job. But you're also hiring me as a consultant. And um, the, the one piece of advice I would give to people and, and the best experiences I have with my clients over the years are the clients that listen to me uh, and take my advice. Now, you don't have to take all my advice. Uh, as a consultant, when I list a property, one of the first things I'm going to do before I list it is I'm going to tour your home and I'm going to make suggestions on ways we can improve the marketability and increase the selling price. And some of these things might just be time. Uh, they're just going to be things like decluttering and cleaning things up. In other areas, I might suggest we spend a little money, uh, do some paint touch-ups, maybe do a little landscaping in the front and backyard. Um, you don't have to take all my advice, but I can tell you for every dollar I suggest we spend, uh, you'll get it back twofold. But, um, you know, as again, uh, but I am acting as a bit of a consultant. That's really what you're paying me for. Anyone can put your home on the MLS. But an ex only an experienced realtor can give you some insight and some suggestions and consult you on ways to maximize your, your uh, net selling price. So real estate consultant is really what you're getting and that's really what you're paying a good realtor for. As I say, anyone can come along and list your house, but the final thing is what are they going to actually sell it for? And I've talked blogged about this last month as well, about people wanting to save commission all the time and uh, saving $8,000 by going with a discount uh, brokerage. Well, it doesn't make much sense if you're going to save $8,000 but leave $25,000 on the table in your selling price. And a good realtor with lots of experience is acting as a sales uh, person and a marketer, but he's also acting as a consultant and give you ways to help maximize your selling price. I'm Owen Bigland. As always, thanks for watching. You can always reach me at owen at owenbigland.com. I'll see you next time.